A brand new season of anime means we tried a bunch of new series. Keep the ones you guys like, drop the ones you don't. But don't worry, that just means more time for community poll series. Let's begin today's reaction. I think this one is just about zombies, right? I mean, it's called Zom 100 or something. Kind of like Mob Psycho 100. I don't know. Now, are these zombies fast or like slow? Because like, you know, like Western movie zombies, they like walk. Okay, they're fast. Yo, Asian zombies, they fucking just run sprint at you. They don't care about any kind of damage. Fall damage doesn't apply. Look at this shit. These are the terrifying kind of zombies. But then on a lot of like Western shows, the zombies just kind of like move around really slowly. That's not too scary. Oh, it's a movie. But this doesn't happen. I got baited. Maybe this guy wishes for zombie apocalypse? Compared to... <laughs> He's a 9 to 5 corporate slave! Like me. <laughs> so he's wishing for like a zombie apocalypse to like break the dull of this world, right? <laughs> Relatable. What's tomorrow? <laughs> Fuck! It's another work day. <laughs> Kill me, bro. Tomorrow I do have work. It's Monday. No! <laughs> Yo, can zombies just take over so I don't have to go work? This is when he was like new here. Look at his eyes. Bright, full of life, you know, newbie. <laughs> and then in three years, he became that, you know, his eyes are fucking dead. So this is the bait, guys. You start your first big boy job. Oh, things are so fun. We get to big, big boy money and you start to realize you do the same shit. Monday to Friday, nine to five. Third of your life gone every day to this fucking thing. And then you start to realize, is this my life from here on out? And then it starts to like creep in on you like, holy shit. My life is just going away really fast and I'm still here. What am I fucking doing? <laughs> oh God, stop. It's too real. Oh, look at them stock. Oh my God. What is this angle? <laughs> Hey, hey, yo. Love at first sight, maybe. Where is the cherry blossoms coming from? It's inside the office. <laughs> I get it. It's just supposed to be like a dramatic moment. <laughs> it's nice to have seniors like this that actually do care and make things more casual. You don't have to be on your toes like that. I don't know if we're being set up, but so far, everybody seems pretty nice. Oh, he's a rugby player? With that build? Okay. Hey, there she is right there, Saudi. Oh, hey, we should go sit by Saudi. Hello! Go, go, go! Go make a move, dude! But once you make a move, you know, you realize that some older and more important person in the office is already fucking her, and you're like, What the fuck, dude? She's out of your league, but still, you should take your shot. <laughs> you should still take your shot, though. Oh. What do you mean? What about home time? What kind of fucking office culture is this? So, all they do is work. There is just no home time, there's no work-life balance. Motherfuckers here all work like zombies. Nah, nah. The moment you, get, you find shit like this, you gotta like start applying for new jobs immediately. You get the fuck out of here. Actual nightmare. Anything but this. But you know what the depressing thing is? A lot of people would actually be killing to be in a position like him. To be able to make like decent like living. You know, work in a corporate office. A lot of people even working minimum wage jobs without any like class mobility. Because of different constraints they have. Whether it be a language barrier, educational barrier, different financial problems. They would kill to be in his shoes. But then, it's a privileged problem. The fact that, you know... What he's going through, but still doesn't mean you can't like um expect better things for yourself. No, you should be whining. No, 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 no. This is where you start normalizing, accepting that things aren't so bad. Nah, that's fucking trash mindset. You stand up for yourself, or no one else will. Wait, what kind of show is this? Why the fuck is this like a like this is way too relatable for me because I too am like a nine to five corporate office slave, but I thought. I'm watching anime to escape that shit. What the fuck are we doing? Yo, he kind of looks like the fat ugly bastard archetypes. You know, like in hentai where the fat ugly bastard gets the girls. He kind of, I don't know, something about his face kind of looks like it. Maybe it's his lips too. <laughs> I don't know, look at his build, right? <laughs> the one that you secretly have crush on. Oh no. Don't tell me he's the one fucking her. Don't, don't, don't. Oh no, don't. This is gonna crush him. Oh no, I've seen way too much. <laughs> This is the classic NTR 
No! Stop! Stop! <laughs> Why am I getting cocked? Bro, what did I say? What did I say? I told you she was probably getting fucked by something more important here. We should have just gave up. Oh! I still said take your shot, though. I still said take your shot. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. No, usually new stuff like this is super important. It kind of plays on the side, though, but it looks like zombies might be happening. I don't know. What was that ambulance in front? No one is around? I don't know how long he slept, but... I, I, something seems off, right? No one's around anymore? He's twitching. No, he's twitching. What's going on? No, no, no. Okay, zombies are out already. But how did it happen? Oh. Hey, this just means we don't have to go to work anymore. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> but we got a set of different problems now. And the color is back, kind of. Oh, shit. They're everywhere. It's, it's very interesting that the colors of blood is just like, you know, different color palette. Is that like an artistic design or, or censorship? I don't know. Okay, if you're... Oh, colors are all back. Oh? What's up, plane? I guess there's a zombie outbreak in that plane, too. Yeah. No more work, bro. This is amazing. <laughs> I can't believe we're rooting for a zombie apocalypse. Anything is better than that corporate work slave lifestyle. <laughs> Fuck yes, let's go! <laughs> is he super happy about it? You're free, dude. Oh, whoa! The widescreen just, like, changed! That's a crazy intro. Damn. Oh, I didn't know you could parkour like that. What? Are you that physically gifted? Well, uh, okay, sure. No fall damage? My man can parkour like crazy. <laughs> Never have I seen any character in a zombie show be so fucking happy that a zombie outbreak. He's so happy the world is coming to an end. A day off, bro. There's no more work forever. Oh, I just realized what he did mention that he played a lot of rugby, right? So I guess like physically he might be pretty built. Buddy, there's. I don't think you can do any of that anymore. I don't. I don't. Yo, there's the zombies, bro. There's. I mean, you could probably just do all those things, but. Uh, what about survival? Forget her. Forget her. Forget her. She's fucking the CEO. Stop it. <laughs> He's still thinking about her. I bet she's still alive. Maybe she is. Hey, this is actually... This is a good mindset. Uh. This is actually a great mindset. It's crazy how someone can have such a positive outlook when the end of the world is here. That just kind of shows us <laughs> the, the moral of the story is that the Japanese work-life culture, like the balance, is so fucking bad that a zombie apocalypse will make you this happy. It's just maybe crazy meta commentary on how the corporate work-life culture in Japan needs to change. <laughs> but, alright, let's go see if she's still alive. Kind of creepy that you have a log of all that because of company data. I don't know. Privacy shit. I don't know. This is the fact that you can just find your co-worker's place like that. You still a human? Hello? Just open the door. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not a good sign. That's not a good sign, bro. Maybe he'll have to kill her if she starts attacking him. Is that the CEO shoes? Ah, it is! But he's already a zombie. Oh. Oh, what the? How, how is he so just normal? For... Are you, how are you having a normal conversation when he looks like a... What is it from the... What's that one zombie from the Left 4 Dead? Is it called a boomer? No, not a boomer, but you know, the one that shoots up vomit and shit. I quit. <laughs> Boss man, I'm putting in my two weeks. 
Okay, now, now kill the boss, man. What is that run? <laughs> what, what is that run? Rugby tackle? Holy shit. Yo. They did mention that he played rugby, but his physical strength is kind of nuts. Look how big he is. Damn. Now, more importantly, is... <laughs> He just killed the CEO, but it, is the girl okay? I, so that was a toupee! It was a wig! <laughs> but is, is Otori-san here? Yo? Ah, uh, nah, she's a zombie, bro. Nah, nah, I don't look the- I don't like the- Uh-uh, no, nah, run, bro! Run! Uh. Mm. Maybe tackle her too. He wouldn't be so down bad that he'd be willing to do something stupid here, right? Bro, just run. You're not this down bad, right? Bro, just run. You're gonna confess to her? Don't confess to her. At the moment I met you, I was like, <laughs> He's confessing to her right now, and she's a zombie! <laughs> no. No, remember this is important for him to not have any regrets, right? This is closure. <laughs> bro, you deserve better! Also, again, where's the cherry blossoms coming from? But bro! You deserve much better than this! My first love. My man, you need to love yourself more. Can't be distracted by all these side hoes. That's fucking the boss. I mean, I'm sure she has her own thing going. She's hustling, whatever. But I just... This is a good mindset that he's able to move on. He wasn't, like, simping over her so hard. But it's just... so sad when guys, like... Put these girls in that pedestal that doesn't really... Look at you in the same way. And your whole life is, like, revolving around her. It's... But, hey, he, he, he actually got over it, though. Let's live every day like it's the last. Yeah, everybody's enough, you know. You don't want to think about it, but it's eventually going to come. Live every day to the fullest. That was quite the intro for a zombie-centric uh, series. Like, it's just... It felt like I was getting personally attacked because I, too, am just a 9-to-5 corporate wake, like a wage slave. <laughs> Way too fucking real. It's just the fact that he was so happy about a zombie apocalypse saving him from his monotonous nine to five work like day. It's 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 insane, but it's also kind of speaking a lot of truth in the sense that a lot of people do feel hopeless and stuck in their current, you know, jobs or whatnot. And if a zombie apocalypse happens, then hey, you're suddenly free. Now, would you be willing to live in a zombie apocalypse world or kind of live in the monotonous day to day? I probably would stick to with my current lifestyle. I don't know, zombie movies are hilarious, but when you're actually living in one, I guarantee you, you will not be as happy as him. But hey, this is an anime. It's a, it's a work of fiction, and it's fun to see what's going to happen from here on out. But hey, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.